So as we've told you, there have been multiple reports of downed trees and power lines and flooding, even car accidents due to the heavy rain. CNPD telling us they have responded to more than 50 calls just as of this morning. Medics saying they've responded to 20 accidents between 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. That's nearly one accident every 12 minutes. We can't emphasize enough. Give yourself time on the roads when they're slick like this. Our Ariel Placencia is live in our Chevy Storm Tracker now. Ariel, you've been driving around all day, really, seeing the different spots, the down trees. Where are you now, and what is it like? Well, Rachel, what a difference a few hours makes. We're on 77 North heading toward the city right now, and I'll show you what it looks like. And the rain was coming down so hard and steady this morning. Now it's a light drizzle, but it just significantly a lot better. I will say, if you look to the shoulder right there, we just passed it, a lot of water on the side of the roads. These roads are still wet. Even though the rain has sort of let up and it's not coming down as hard as it was this morning, it's still wet out here and conditions not great as people are maybe taking a lunch break. I will say, however, However, your evening compute, commute definitely going to be much better than your morning commute was. Nothing is going to be as bad as it was this morning. And Rachel, those statistics that you mentioned, medic responding to all those calls and CMPD as well. We drove around um, on Providence Road, saw a tree down. That caused significant delays. A woman tweeted at me that normally it only takes her about 40 minutes to get around that. It took her almost three hours. So we saw a lot of the problems this morning. Rachel, I know you were documenting those in the traffic system as well, but much better this afternoon. But still, give yourself some time and take a slow because these roads are certainly still wet. Rachel, I'll send it back to you.